All right, this is the best side setups that any rank can do, whether a copper champion does not matter. Solar raid, year seven, season four. And these are fundamental to making a good side setup. I will be giving my operators I think you should be running, and then I'll show you guys really quickly. So, first one is we're on cocktail. Cocktail, the main the main way to play it is you want to hold on a, you want to hold on to Scar Lounge as long as you can. And you need a lot of rotates. You need you if you don't have any rotates, then you're fucked. Always bring at least impacts. I mean, most of the time people run like Bailiff now. You should like Bailiff on Alibi Dock or Orcs is really good. Um Mirror is a decent choice. Barbed wire for white. You don't want to be crept up on white. Um, it's optional for a put to put a shield pixel. It helps you hold Cigar a little bit easier. Otherwise, I like to use a zombie now. I don't like playing pixel anymore. I like playing a zombie. Um, information is always so good. You know, BP is always good. Um, so yeah, you really can't go wrong. You, you could even go Oryx. Oryx actually wouldn't be that bad of a pick. Just, just for the 1.5. You can go anybody here. Um, so let's just go ahead and do the decent side setups here. The basics. I'm going to go Alibi Shotgun just so I can open up more things. So if you got in, in, in Twitch chat, if you guys have any questions about like certain things, let me know. Where do I post the side setups? It's going to be on my second channel. Most of the time, if you're on YouTube, you're watching this on more Athena. So check out the second channel. Uh, you shoot out holes like this so you can see the default and anybody that crouches in. Wow, Alibi Shotgun's actually pretty cool. I kinda like this gun. Um, oh, head holes like this. Uh, these head holes are for that way you can, um, that way you can see inside the cigar. If you're asking if it works both ways, kind of, because as a defender you're not really doing this too much. But it's for extra pressure as well. <coughs> um, obviously get both of the red walls. And just to be quick, this is pretend I reinforce both of those. I only reinforce the ones that like are really crucial and like a needle and a haystack type. Um, it's optional if you want to barricade uh, reinforce all the way. I think you should reinforce all the way if you're thinking of giving up cigar quickly. But you shouldn't really be doing that. And then you can play tucked in bathroom like this away from the walk in, but. You don't really need to. Let's just, for example, let's do this for now. Uh, this is so that way you don't get wall banged from new hatch if you're trying to play in bathroom. Make this a vaultable rotate. Like this. Uh, freezer holes are optional, but they kind of work against you pretty easily. So I recommend just reinforce. Let's just pretend to reinforce those. Reinforce, reinforce. Rotate. Bro, I kind of fuck with this shotgun. Not gonna lie. It's actually not that bad. Uh, head holes, if you want, like this. Um. Okay. But yeah, that's really it. Just reinforce that wall. Reinforce both freezer walls, this one. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. Okay, so you have some extra walls. So, yeah, that's really it. Um, side setup wise, you know, you would put a shield here. Back it up a little bit. Back up the shields. So that way you can put a Jaeger device here or here is fine. If you're a zombie, put a gate right here. Gate right here. And then you can mess around with some of the one in here. But yeah, for the most part, you know, hold on to... Hold on as much map control as you can as a defender. But yeah, if you don't know any places to play, just kind of... But this is kind of the basic side setup. So yeah, any questions, chat? I've already I've already said which operas you should go at the beginning of uh, choosing the bomb site. If you missed it, then look on my YouTube channel when this is posted. How do you know when to have a vaultable versus a standard? Um, I think it's more for the mobility wise. Like if if I were to vault, you know, like is it if it's more for mobility? Like if this was a vault, this would be like. A little bit unnecessary and you want to kind of sprint past the skylight um this one i don't know it's just it's just always been like that 
I'm sure there's another explanation, but that's just kind of how how these things roll, basically. I didn't I didn't create these setups. These are just like defaults in the community, and um, yeah, for the most part, you should you you would want to sprint past somewhere if you really want to. Yeah, it slows them down for the most part. Yes, is a good way to put it. Chat, if you guys have any questions, Q&A at the end of the stream. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Cap is a W map. Want to drink my protein shake as much as I can this, this part. Gosh. All right. Uh, next up, we're going fireplace. Wait. Fireplace and mining. Listen, bro. Okay, let's just go. I'm just going to go this real quick. If you happen to go here, people don't go this bomb set that much. So for ranked, honestly, you really don't need to set up that much. I would just say use this basic technique of wet, reinforcing the wall close to the door and just making some head holes like this. You do the same thing for this one as well, but mining doesn't really have it's just guns up. It's just swing or be swung. Reinforce all of this wall. Yeah, I mean, like just get creative, bro. Like they're really it's just swing or be swung. Um, make full holes like this. That way you can see into fireplace and shit like that. Reinforce both of those walls. Um Yeah, make you can make a rotate here if you wanted to, like this. Yeah, just do that. And that's really it. Yeah, it's just, you know, swing or be swung. Choose choose your favorite operator, choose a 1.5. Uh, yeah, like I said, mining operators would just be, just pick someone with a 1.5. Uh, pick someone that you can fry go with, it really doesn't matter. A vote lead with the prime, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Hatch. Uh, hatch is optional. I mean, if you want to open, you can, you can, if you're playing up there, it's fine, but you can reinforce it off, it's all personal preference. Like, this bomb site is barely ever played, so there really is no correct way to play it in a ranked scenario. Um, it's just, you know, I mean, the odds of them getting the bomb down is very, very low. And you can, you guys have enough team coordination to understand how to play these situations. Okay, on to the next one. Yeah, just, just play the whole map, basically, if you're playing on that bomb site. It really doesn't matter too much. Kills will come your way. Just don't. Don't solely sit in sight looking at a wall. That's like the last thing you want to do. Um, reading bomb site. This is an interesting one. I'm actually going to have to bring out a lot more hold for this. Like I said, they're like these are default ones that you guys can learn off the bat. If you ever want to do any vi different variants, by all means, go for it. I am not like a. I have 99% correct on all of my, my bomb site rotates. Everything else becomes personal preference of how you want to play the game, but these are the most effective. Okay, that's crazy. Um, rotate there. Reinforce that, reinforce that. One little hack you can do. I don't know if you can do it with the shotgun, but if you look right here. Oh, it does work. You can save yourself some time in bullets if you just prone and do that. It's probably better for you to do it with the shotgun. The reason why you want full holes in between sight like this is that way it's uh it's easier to see anybody walking in from train like this and you know it adds more pressure reinforce this wall right here uh make a rotate on this side and then reinforce this wall the reason you want it on that side is that way it gives you no line of sight into white wait yeah that's correct uh you don't really need to mess around with mining also, if you're playing up here, it's really, really helpful. You shoot all the glass. Reinforce this wall, that wall. Open up the hatch. You can put a shield here. You can put a shield here. The shield is here. That way you can hold on to cocktail because this is a very popular site to make vert. Because um, if you keep this vert and they try to play a default, boom, you see the default right there. Vert holes are optional, but they're very, very highly recommended. Uh, this hatch is personal preference. If you want to open or close, just keep in mind they can use it against you. But this is a good, you know... Uh, Rome, Rome exit, exit point. Um, operators, my bad. I, f I forgot to say the operators. Operators you need is definitely people with soft rotates. Uh, wall denial is not needed. It, it really isn't. Mute's fine, but it's up to you. Um, 
traps and roamers really is it traps and roamers is all you really need information and you know it's really really key because it's a you're holding you have to hold top floor and reading if you don't have to if you don't hold top floor then you're fucked what i would say if you really want to catch people off guard is do do this this works i i don't remember the last time i died doing this if i died i took down two people with me so do this don't reinforce the red wall. That's, like I said, I'm 99% correct. Everything else is personal preference of what you want to do. Um, the reason I do this is because if you play here, everyone tries a drone and you just collect their drones like, where the fuck did it get shot from? And then boom, they try dropping, collect their toes, collect Ash's toes, collect Twitch's toes, and then put them on my toe necklace and then I dip out and I come back, play Pixel. I wasted like so much time doing that, then boom, I started coming back more, playing the shield, and 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 the next thing they know, like, you know, they're it's a 45 seconds left and it's pretty easy, dumb bozos. And then boom. Very, very you you just have to play very baity uh on this one. But like I said, you can pick 1.5s and just swing everything. Swing will be swung meta, very open bomb site. Hello, Lauren. So yeah, that's basically reading bomb site setup. Pretty pretty simple. All were eliminated. This is the next episode of the chalet. Yes, this is the next episode. Wouldn't say it's an episode, but it's more of a. I guess I guess it is actually. You know I can I can name it like. Athena's champion series. No, I'm joking. I'm not gonna do that. It's, it's very similar to the lone wolf series I have. That would be pretty interesting. Uh, kitchen. So bomb sites or uh, operators you would bring for kitchen is 1,000% wall denial. Cade preferred. Um, kitchen is probably one of the most utility bomb sites you're gonna probably get to need a little bit compared to top floor, but yeah, kitchen you need you need traps and utility a little bit more. So you need a, preferably a Jaeger or a Mai, in case you want to hold coat, you want to hold bakery, even just holding rice, which is kitchen prep window, for any grenades. Um, Aruni is really good, just, you know, traps and, and clutter they have to go through. And the last two people could obviously go to anybody you want. I think uh, 1.5s, you know, Warden's fine. I don't know, Oryx is fine. Just, just go a gun. But... The map control, where you sit, is more important than the util, I would say. But utility is uh, way, way, way helpful on this one. So I will go... <sighs> Where should I go here? I'll just go mute. Junkie boy. And if you guys have any questions of, uh, you know, how to play kitchen or like any things like that, let me know. Cafe Kitchen is probably one of the best, yeah, one of the, probably arguably the best bomb site to go in ranked and calm. Uh, okay, so yeah. Do not fully reinforce off prep. Those are pressure holes. They're not meant to be uh, used too much. It's more for just ghost pressure. Um, reinforce this, just let's pretend. Reinforce a small big wall. Reinforce this wall, the, obviously the full big wall. Um, you know, people, people would normally put wall denial here. This is okay. Wall denial. Deny this wall. Be careful of Twitch drones. Okay, so this is personal preference. You have to let your team ask, ask your team if this is good. If you guys get smoked with these holes, then don't use them. But these are, these work both ways. This is mostly if you're going to hold coat. Um, I think you should make full holes here. That way you can see here. If someone walks in, but then make head holes on this one. That way you can see all the way deep into prep. You can do like do this. Uh, reinforce this middle one. Let's just pretend to reinforce it. Reinforce freezer walls. Get the freezer hatch. And yeah, that's for the most part. If you have any BPs, okay, so like I said, kit kitchen is more of a map control than a util game. You could literally have five recruit or five oryxes and you'll probably be fine. That'd be so chaotic. But yeah, you want like someone 
making sure that attackers don't fully get, you know, control here so easily. At least contest it a little bit. Um, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a ton of different ways, you know, just mainly keep an eye on coats. Obviously, bakery is a, uh, a fun one. So I'm not going to explain this is, this is a side set of the video. This is not how, a how to play video, but because th that kind of comes with with experience. You know, you can play a siege however you want, however it works. Whatever works for me might not work for you, but like I said, the defaults are just understand map control is very important on this one. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. And I, and I know 100% like Kickstar would 100% like want to do want to want like more education stuff at a very high level that not a lot of people can do. And he, he wanted to do like a call out series stuff like that. So, you know, I guess I'll uh, carry that torch down. What about issues with verticality? If you're if okay, listen, if you're going up against a team with vert, then Okay, actually hold up. I was gonna say they're a smart team, but then I realized people go fuse and they don't drone up top and they start fusing random shit. If they are making vert on you, then find areas where you can avoid that vert, spread out horizontally, where the enemy is obviously not. Don't go bakery. <laughs> don't, don't if you're getting fused above, don't sprint to the bakery or else ace is gonna you're gonna meet the barrel of ace. Uh you know, just just juke it out in sight. There's no vert here, no vert in bunker, but you can't just be careful of that. Uh, just 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 stand wherever the vert is not. Um, and if you're safe enough, you can extend out the coat. You can extend out the whiskey, and you just gotta move accordingly. You have legs. Better use foot holes or head holes and prep foot holes because remember it's ghost pressure. And also, as you can see, drones too. But I mean, like I said, like this is just the default stuff. This is this is just what's the the, the default. What about the wall on the side of B? Shit, where's B? Are you talking about red wall? Boy, I I already showed everything. I already showed everything in that. So. Okay, well, that's all the side setup that you the basic side setup or advanced at any level that you can use that you need to know. If you have any questions or you want a new map commented, comment below on this video. And yeah, these are recorded live on my stream if you are watching this on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video.